What is up everybody? Chris here from Fake Sports News back at it again with another video. Today I'm going to be going over the results of day one of CWL London. It was a great day of uh, action-packed Call of Duty. And we have some very, 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 very interesting developments here. Um, so for Pool A, of course, we have Optic sitting up top, 3-0, 9-3 and map count. 100 Thieves sitting in second place, 2-1 and one with a 7-5 and five map count. E6, 1 and 2 with a 6 and 7 map count, and Reciprocity, 0 and 3 with a 2 and 9 map count. Now, if you told me that this was how Pool A would play out coming into this weekend, I would not believe you. I would have expected Rec to sit in third place. Um, but, of course, with this pool, anybody could win and anybody could come out. So, I mean, honestly, it was shocking to see Rec not play so well since they got top 3 at Fort Worth. But this pool was just unpredictable. Moving on to B, we have Genji and Splice sitting up top. I had said in my last video that this pool would be one of the more unpredictable ones, um, but I was not expecting Luminosity to be at the very bottom of it. If anything, I was expecting them to probably get third place because they've had struggles. Um, but Denial played pretty well today, um, and Splice and Genji obviously played very well. So they're going to the winner's bracket. Denial and LG are going to losers, and of course E6 and Rec are going to losers. Um, as you can see at the bottom of the screen, top two from each pool advance to winner's bracket, and bottom two go to losers. Moving on to pool C, we have E United and FaZe uh, sitting at the top, and EG and Envy sitting at the bottom. Um, to be honest with you, I pretty much expected this to play out exactly this way. Um, e United and FaZe, obviously the stronger of the four rosters, I would say. Um, Plus, FaZe, uh, they picked up Scraps and Zero, so, I mean, they picked up two of the best players in Black Ops 4, so that's going to help your team exponentially. Plus, Asim, Selium, and Zuma are just nasty players who were not on pro teams, so it's not really unexpected to see them sitting at the top of Pool C alongside United. Moving on to Pool D, Heretics really surprised me. Um, they came out 3-0 today. Um, and I wasn't really expecting them to perform this well, considering the fact that they placed, I believe, top 12 at Fort Worth. And, I mean, they looked really good at Pro League, don't get me wrong, but I just thought the Heretics had kind of fallen out of form. So it's good to see them at the top once again. Um, of course, UIU, Elevate, and Midnight were all tied 1 and 2. I, Based on my prediction video, the last video I uploaded, as you probably have seen, um, I predicted Midnight to be the second team coming out of this pool. But I also said that this one could be pretty chaotic as well. Um, with Heretics being the only team that I really expected to make it out definitively. Um, but honestly, I'm kind of shocked to see Midnight not making it out because, you know, Parasite, Blast, all the players on their roster are really talented. Um, so next I'm going to be moving on to the loser's bracket first. Um, of course, loser's round one, we have EG versus Reciprocity, and that should be interesting. Denial versus Midnight, E6 versus Envy, that should be a good one. Elevate versus LG, that should be very interesting. Um, so I think that probably round two uh, will be more interesting, considering the fact that we will have some pretty big teams taken out of the competition altogether. Um, personally, I would say my predictions for round two, I would say Rec moves on. Midnight moves on, Envy moves on, and LG moves on. But we'll see what happens tomorrow. Moving on to the winner's bracket, of course. We have Optic playing FaZe, which is a big match. We haven't seen Optic v. FaZe in a very long time on LAN. So this should be exciting. We have Splice playing Heretics. That should be an exciting one. Both teams have been in great form this weekend. So we'll see who blinks first. EU versus 100 Thieves, that should be incredible. Uh, 100 Thieves, of course, they've been snapping for a long time, as I've said. And EU United, they've been playing very well this weekend. So it's going to be interesting to see those two go head-to-head. -head. And, of course, we have UIU Gen G. Um, I'm going to give my predictions pretty quickly for this winner semis. Moving, excuse me, the teams I expect to move from quarters to semis. I would say Optic. Ah, uh, Heretic Splice. I don't know. I'm going to favor Splice. I feel like their competition was just a little bit tougher, so they are going to you know, be a little bit more prepared going into tomorrow. 
Um, in terms of EU and 100 Thieves, I would say 100 Thieves, just because they've really been united pretty handily on LAN previously. And now that everyone's really firing on all cylinders for that team, I don't really see many teams that can compete with them. Um, and, and in terms of UIU, Gen.G, I mean, I think Gen.G will take it pretty easily. They've been dominating their pool all week, uh, excuse me, all day long. So I don't see them really losing tomorrow. Um, and just looking over the schedule for tomorrow, of course, we're kicking off at 2 p.m. Uh, London time, which is 9 a.m. Eastern time or 6 a.m. Pacific time, 8, 8 a.m. Central time. Um, we're kicking it off with Rec versus EG, so that should be a good one to start things off. And then, of course, at 10.30 Eastern, 7.30 Pacific, of course, 9.30 Central, we'll have Envy versus E6, so that should be an, a really good one as well. Um, moving on to the Delta stream for tomorrow, we have uh, Midnight versus Nile at the same time, LG versus Elevate at 10.30 uh, Eastern 7.30 Pacific. So those should be interesting matches. And then we will also have on Bravo, we'll have Gen G versus UIU at 9 a.m. And then at 10.30, we'll have Splice versus Heretics. Of course, you can do the time conversions based on your time zone. Um, you know, it's a little bit hard for me to <laughs> know exactly where all my viewers are. So I'm going to allow everyone to just do that at their leisure. So... And of course, on the mainstream, we have EU versus 100 Thieves to kick the day off. And then we have Optic versus FaZe. So we have some really good matches coming up on mainstream tomorrow morning. So be sure to tune in for more Call of Duty action. And yeah, I will be bringing you guys another video tomorrow night going over the results of Saturday. And giving a preview, of course, of Championship Sunday, as I always do. So be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys tomorrow in the next video. Have a good evening. Peace.